Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. Can you believe it is time for the first sheet load of cards day in 2023? That is correct. Today is the day that I'm going to debut the newest sheet load of cards, show you my first set, and tell you how you can download the printable for free. I hope you'll stick around to find out more! Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month always means it is time for sheet load of cards day here on my channel. It is a free printable that I put out each month that gives you a new sketch, a supply list and cutting guides to make a sheet load of cards. That is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards depending on the sketch and paper size. Here in just a little bit I'll show you the first set I made and tomorrow I will be back to show you how I made it and give you a few tips and tricks along the way. Also tomorrow, my wonderful team of collaborators will be joining me both here on YouTube and over on Instagram with their first sets of the month. Don't forget, all of my team is linked in that description box below so you can go ahead and start following them if you don't already. Also starting this month, Carmen from Choose Joy with Carmen is joining the YouTube team. So she may be one of those that you're not already subscribed to so you can find her link in the description box. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the January 2023 printable and see what makes this month a little special. Here is a look at the January 2023 sheet load of cards and it is a special mini slimline edition. If you follow the supply list and the cutting guides, you are going to yield 8 mini slimline cards and you'll see here in just a minute there's barely any scraps left over and I bet you could actually use those on the inside of your cards so it is a no scrap template. So here's a close up look at the sketch. You'll notice that we have two different patterns and you're going to use one of those in two places on the card. Besides your two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper, you will need eight solid card stocks. And those are going to be for your card base, your matting, and your sentiment or image circle if that's how you're going to decorate it. Now if you like the look of this card but you don't necessarily need eight, I do give you the single card dimensions here so you can just make a few. And as always, there are alternative ideas here toward the bottom. And one of those is to use ephemera in place of your sentiment, and you'll see later that's actually what I did for my set of cards. On page two is the cutting guides. I show you how to cut each of your card stocks and each of your pattern papers. And you'll see here there's just a small section, and again, I bet you could divide that some way to decorate the inside of your cards. While we're looking at the back and I have my little channel member supported icon, I do just want to say a great big thank you to all of my channel members. Your support each month keeps me crafting here on YouTube and sheet load of cards free for all. Now if you're ever interested in finding out more about membership, I do have a link in the description box below. It starts at just $1.99 a month and is a great way to show your gratitude and get some perks in return. If you make a sheet load of cards using the January 2023 edition, I would love for you to show us your sheet load. You can do that here on YouTube, over on Instagram, or you can send in a card for the end of the month video. I have a show us your sheet load guidelines video linked in the description box, and online you'll want to make sure that you use the hashtags at the top of the printable. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I use for my cards this month. For my pattern papers today, I chose a couple from Doodle Bug Designs Lots of Love Collection. I chose one here that has hot air balloons carrying some Happy Mail envelopes, and then a red pattern paper, and it might be kind of hard to see on camera, but there's just darker red line art images in it. 
Now one thing about these papers is the backs would also go together as well. For my focal point, I chose a third piece of pattern paper from the kit, and it is this one here with different sheets of notebook paper, and I made my own little envelope ephemera using this paper and the mini envelope punch board. They turned out so cute. For my sentiment, I chose Sending You Love from this photo play paper love letter set. I hope to be back later in the month using more of these images and more of this paper for more sets of January cards. What theme do you think you'll use for this month's sheet load of cards? Let me know down in that comment section. Before I tell you how you can download printable for free, let's go ahead and take a look at my first set of cards for January 2023. I hope you enjoyed that little look at my first set of cards using the January 2023 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. A couple things I wanted to point out is, first off, I did go ahead and use the reverse sides of the paper. So instead of having four cards or two sets of four cards that look the same, I have four sets of two cards that look the same. So just a way to switch them up a little bit if your paper's double-sided and those work together. And like I mentioned earlier, I didn't use a circle for my focal point or sentiment. Instead, I made my own mini envelope focal point. I used the mini envelope punch board, which you'll see me use it tomorrow. And then to make it look a little more dimensional, I adhered the flap with a little foam dot underneath it. And then for some sparkle, I added a red cardstock heart and I added some stickles to the top. Then for my sentiment, I put it right down here as another piece. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. I hope that you're all ready to make your own sheet load of cards with the January 2023 printable. As always, it is free to subscribers of my channel, so please make sure before you click on the link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute, that you have already clicked on the subscribe button. It's free, it's quick, it's easy. Just click on that button right below this video. You are gonna find this month's link in the description box right above my P.O. Box address. Below that, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is the password. You can always just view it on screen or you can print it and use it like I have here. That is totally up to you. Also, if you don't have a color printer, print it in black and white. I will be back tomorrow to show you how I made my first set, and don't forget my team of collaborators will be joining me in showcasing theirs. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.